the world's first grass-free lawn. Um, it's the result of four years PhD research over at Reading University and it's a collaboration between myself and uh, Kensington and Chelsea Council to produce a biodiverse, beautiful, uh, grass-free environment here in Avondale Park. Well, when I, when I first started this, the, the original aim was to create something beautiful. The original uh, idea came from my parents' front garden in 1976 when we had the drought. The borders had died, the grass had died in the lawn, and all the wildflowers were flowering. Um, and it was absolutely beautiful, and it stuck in my mind. And I thought, well, I'd like to be able to repeat that. And when you actually approach things sort of academically, you, you have to really sort of analyse, well, why did these plants do this? What type of plants were doing it? And all those kind of things. So you end up actually narrowing things down a bit. And then you can bring a horticulturist's eye and say, right, let's have the red-flowered one, or the purple-leaved one, or the golden-leaved one, and, and bring that and make something beautiful. Uh, first thing to note is, is this has been designed to be interactive in the sense that it should be sensory. Um, the first thing, just to point out, this is Corsican mint. And if you rub it, it has an incredibly strong minty smell. So if you step on it, it releases the fragrance as well. Doing a bit of plant breeding back at Reading, um, and I was doing some crosses and uh, specifically came up with a plant here that has four leaves. This is a four-leaf clover. So it's a whole mix of ornamental cultivars, such as this one, of British natives, as well as including some of the sort of foreign things as well. By being beautiful, it aids the pollinators, the bees, the butterflies. The insect diversity is at least a third greater uh, <clears throat> than the standard British lawn, and, and the number of species involved in it is, is much greater as well, usually about 25% more so far. So by being beautiful, it actually is, a, is being beautiful in the greatest and widest of senses.